Hey everyone, Sidewalk Runner here, Sidey for short, and welcome to another episode of Food Friday. Hope you're staying safe and eating well. Grilled cheese to me is like the ultimate junk food. It's buttery, it's salty, it's fatty, and it's so delicious you don't care. Wait, a salad? Get out of here. So today we're going to try something from Taco Bell that um, not kind of, I'm actually not surprised that they created it. I mean, they have all the ingredients already there. So today we are giving a grilled cheese burrito a shot. And they wrapped it in their special foil wrapper. All right, that means that means business. Open this guy up here. Oh, they even, oh, look at that. They actually wrapped it in paper as well. That's different. I didn't expect that. Oh, see what I was talking about, greasy? It is already greasy on the side. See, it wasn't lying, look at the grease. When you think grilled cheese, you think buttery goodness. In this case, probably some sort of oil, I don't know. Or maybe the oil off the cheese. Mm. So to my recollection, this sandwich has a three cheese blend. It also has sour cream, nacho cheese, and I think the chipotle cheese sauce as well. Um, and maybe a couple other ingredients. But either way, it's got a lot of different uh, creamy elements going for it. Now, will this be good grilled cheese or is it gonna demand some tomato soup? Which we can only imagine what would happen if they created that. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that kind of surprised me. A good look there. So as you expect from a grilled cheese sandwich, it is cheesy. It is creamy on the inside. And it does actually have this guy I didn't expect. This is actually kind of like a cheese crust on the outside. It is actually nice. Uh, it is nicely crispy out there. I mean, definitely oily. This is a heavy sandwich. I think it's like 710 calories for this whole thing. But the taste is really there. I mean, there is a spice factor to it. You do get a little bit of the um, sourness and the sour cream. But overall, it's still, it still actually does have a really good mouthfeel. And, you know, it reminds me of grilled cheese in the sense of I want to keep eating it. It also has rice in there, which, yeah, maybe you could do without it. Because, I mean, you know, just by itself, the uh, beef and the cheese itself are still good. But the fact that this is just wrapped in a cheese, it's like a cheese blanket almost. It's heavenly. You know, originally I said to myself I was only going to eat half of this. I'm not, I'm not, I don't go to Taco Bell to be healthy. Sorry. If this is Taco Bell's version of a grilled cheese sandwich, I'm actually curious on what they can do with other childhood favorites. But in the meantime, I'm giving this guy a 5 out of 5 deadlifting Pikachu's. Go ahead and check this out. If anything, just for the uh, crusted cheese and the overloading cheese flavor, you won't be disappointed. So thank you everyone for coming along in this Food Friday adventure with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below if there's other places that have reinvented childhood favorites you'd like me to try. And until we eat again, have a happy Food Friday, keep on running. <laughs>